It would be explosive if it were true. The allegation a political opponent spied on a sitting president. And that's exactly what former President Donald Trump and his allies are claiming. It was worse than we thought because they were spying on the sitting president of the United States. Hillary Clinton's campaign paid to spy on Donald Trump. I liken it to Watergate. But Hillary Clinton now slamming the whole thing as a fake scandal to distract from Mr. Trump's real ones. So it's a day that ends in Y, she tweeted. So what's the reality check? It all started last week when special counsel John Durham dropped a new court filing. Remember, Durham's the guy investigating the origins of the Russia investigation against Mr. Trump. The filing involves a case against a cybersecurity lawyer with ties to the Democratic Party, Michael Sussman. It says a tech executive gave Sussman data about communications between computer servers at the White House, two Trump-owned buildings in New York, and an unnamed health care provider. The filing, describing the executive as exploiting his access to White House data to search for derogatory information on Mr. Trump. Sussman, the filing says, claimed the data showed Trump associates were using Russian-made cell phones near the White House, an allegation the special counsel found no evidence of, and says Sussman turned that info over to the CIA in 2017, according to sources familiar with what happened. Some conservatives seizing on all this as proof someone spied on then-President Trump, blasting what they see as a lack of attention to it. The silence by most of the media is very revealing. But here's the thing. That computer data only showed that different servers were communicating, not what they were communicating about, according to experts. In other words, emails couldn't have been read. Text messages couldn't have been read. They couldn't have even seen the content that was on the screens. The court filing doesn't say when the data collection ended. And that's important because Sussman's attorneys say the special counsel knows it didn't happen during the Trump administration, but instead when then-President Obama was in office. Also keep in mind, the court filing does not allege a crime related to hacking. It also does not say that anybody was illegally spied on. Savannah? Just so I understand, so it actually happened during the Obama administration? That's what Sussman's attorneys are saying, yeah. Okay. All right. Hallie, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.